Welcome back to another uh, Gunther video. Today I had a request for uh, drilling a really hard stone, the Gunther one, one millimeter drill bit. So today I picked some tumbled agate, a uh, piece of quartz, and another piece of agate that uh, somebody gave to me at a gym show. Um, as you can see, all of my stones have tons of holes because I drill all the time. This is from my show stock. Uh, but I have a one millimeter um, core diamond drill bit from Gunther Diamond Tools and the counterpart installed into our hobby system. Uh, my water's on, my power's on, so I'm gonna start today with first prepping my stone. Here we go. Turn on my power, turn on my water. This is a brand new bit, so we'll see how it goes. All right. So we'll start with uh, this piece of, I guess it's an agate or something. Now the key to drilling with one millimeter drill bit is keeping your stone level if I were to so I if I were to, to tweak my stone up or down it's going to bend my drill bit and break the drill bit the drill bits will last a long time as long as they don't break and these one millimeters just don't have a lot of mass to them so I'm pulse drilling to keep that boil of water ejecting the material that I just cut and also um, just keeping a lot of water in the system to keep everything nice and cool and keep my drill bit clear. Even our one millimeter drill bits and even smaller, our 0.7 millimeter drill bits still have a ejector needle in them. And so that ejector needle will kick out the core, but I need to make sure that I keep the uh, the cut material out of the hole so it doesn't just keep getting crumbled up and create a slurry that will, claw, uh, that will clog up the drill bit. So I'm about halfway through. I check my starter hole. As you can see, it's tiny, tiny, tiny. So I'm gonna flip it over and rest my starter hole on my counterpart. All right, now I will meet in the center every time because it's resting on the counterpart. And when I pull drill, again, I'm not removing the drill bit from the hole, but rather just kind of pressure and no pressure, pressure and no pressure. Looking for that boil to come out of the top of the hole. I have my drill stop set to zero at where the uh, drill bit and the counterpart meet or when they're touching. So I'm watching my drill stop as I approach zero. Right now I have about two millimeters left to go through. Watching for that boil of water. Like that. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a tiny little one millimeter hole um, right there. Now we will try a quartz crystal. Again, I'll clean my drill bit. This has a lot of different holes in it, but I'll try and find a, a fresh space to drill.
This piece is about 11 millimeters thick. Right now I'm about showing six millimeters, so I, I'm about halfway through right now. I'm gonna back out my drill bit. There's my starter hole. You can kind of see it through the side of the crystal there. Give it a little blow to kind of make sure that core has been ejected. Now it rests on the counter post just like that. I'm gonna drill through the other side. Definitely taking my time. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on the lever. I'm letting the drill bit do the cutting, not my arm strength. As you drill more and more, you'll get a better feel of the, your, the rate that you can drill through. But that's still pretty fast. There's a little tiny one millimeter hole through that crystal that you can see. Now we'll try this last agate. Again, I'm going to prep my drill, my bit. I'm going to go kind of off to the side on this. This is probably the hardest stone we've tried yet. Okay, regular old random tumbled agate. I don't know where it came from. Not only drilling through the uh, a hard stone, but I'm also drilling on a hard angle. The drilling system actually prefers harder stones because harder stones create a core. Softer stones um, will sometimes create more of a slurry or a, a bunch of sediment that will sometimes plug up the core, uh, the drill bit, and stop your water. The water stops you just to back out and uh, clean out the uh, clean out the drill bit. There's my starter hole. And I flip it over. There we go. Rests on there nicely. trying to get that drill bit to bite into the edge of the stone because it's on a real hard angle. There it goes, it's starting to bite into it a little bit. Now cutting into the hard uh, the hard angle on the side of the stone. Watching my drill stop, about a millimeter left to go. Just barely cleared it. As you can see, there's a tiny little one millimeter hole there. All the way through, perfectly centered. Because I drilled from both sides, there's no chip on the back side if I were to drill all the way through. There you have it, a one millimeter hole in three different hard stones. Thanks for watching.